Welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock. Where it's a review of the incredible two-headed transplant. Oh, wow, what a mess of a movie. It's the story of a doctor who, for some odd reason, wants to try and have two-headed animals. Not really quite sure why. But that's what he's into. And apparently... And apparently he decides to try and graft the head of a serial killer onto the shoulders of his simple-minded worker after the worker's dad is killed. This is quite possibly and quite honestly one of the stupidest movies I've seen in a really, really, really long time. You know, this movie made absolutely no sense. Why on earth do you want to put the head of a serial killer onto the body of a simple-minded... I don't know, but this whole movie was just ridiculously stupid. But then again... Why on earth... Do you do, why why on earth do you basically capture a, a, an insane person, put him in jail, and then he pretty much just walks out of there anyway? They graft the head of the serial killer onto the simple simple uh, simple minded dude's body, and then they go around killing people. And Mister Simple Minded Dude can't seem to control the 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 serial killer's head from going around killing. Three bikers, uh, some couple out on a lover's lane type place, and almost killing the uh, the head doctor. <clears throat> I was hoping I was going to make it through without some sort of stupid pun. Um, the uh, the head doctor's uh, wife, girlfriend, I don't remember who she's supposed to be in this movie, but... Anyway, uh, the end comes for the doctor, the doctor's assistant, and the two-headed transplant something or other. Uh, when they all go to a cave, and uh, it turns out a friend of theirs uh, winds up going there with uh, the doctor's uh, wife, I guess. And, uh, and then the uh, cave, of course... Cave crumbles, kills the doctor, his assistant, and the two-headed dude. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, a really stupid movie here, folks. Came out in the 70s, what do you expect? Okay, so, if you're sitting there asking, you know, Doc, why, on, why in God's name did you play the Monsters theme... And the Scooby-Doo theme. Well, I'm going to get to that here in just a second. Because the movie starred Bruce Dern as the maniacal two-headed doctor. And Pat Priest, who you might know better as Marilyn Munster. And, God rest his soul, Casey Kasem. Who you might know as the voice of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. So there you have it. The incredible two-headed transplant. This brain wants to love. This brain wants to kill. This reviewer wishes he never saw this movie. So until next time, for Doc Schlock, stay strong and rock on. I got a headache. <laughs>